Super. So if we go to our checklist, we're going to see that everything's done now except for, let's see, backup plates and pressure plates are used with proper fasteners. Yes. Two more things, two by four blocking and the sealant on the outside. So we'll go over the blocking right now. So this anchor is incredibly strong right now. It's as strong as the roof rafter. It's strong this way. So what happens in the real world is you put something up and somebody abuses it and puts a load on it that wasn't intended. What if somebody put it a load this way? Or what if there was a hip roof here and they, and they anchor to this nearest anchor? So part of being a certified V5 installer is you add two by four blocking between this rafter and this rafter and you'll see where it goes in just a moment and that's going to help give it lateral stability in the event that somebody side loads it. So when I'm cutting this, if I cut it perpendicular um, and try to wedge it in place, if I cut it a little too long, it's very challenging to drive it into place. So by cutting just a little taper on it, it's going to help me put it in place hopefully the first time. rafters go in this orientation whenever you can put them in and you'll see in a moment but they go up inside the pocket 12 inches this side and 12 inches that side of the anchor or within 12 inches that looks like it's gonna fit nicely so now I do a little uh, a little work now to make it easier for later. We will take a pre-drill. Star drives. So, some of those. This is a whole lot easier to do 
down here and up there. Looks about right. Drilling also keeps it from splitting, which is nice. So now we just repeat the process right here. If I went ahead and cut this square, it probably wouldn't fit. This rafter's got a twist. So I'm going to try and account for that. We'll have one square end. But that end's a bit more square, but this end over here. Bit of a paper. Maybe not that much, but we'll see. Not only am I going to cut it along that line, but I'm going to put a little taper this way so that hopefully it fits on the first try. Well, I think it's going to fit. Okay. After you've done a hundred of them, you figure out what not to do. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good time to say that. Yeah. Were you recording? Yeah. Oh, you were. <laughs> so, you really don't need power tools up here to do this. Um, the key is having a, a sharp saw, mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to work hard to let the blade do the work. And it goes slow at the beginning because as soon as I get my angle right, then it follows the angle that I gave it. I'm going to switch sides because that one's got knots on it.
to, now that I've almost finished, I can check off that I added my two, four block, two by four blocking. We're gonna be working off here for a few days to redo the chimney flashing. Um, the anchor's ready and usable, and we'll put the flashing plate in, but we're not gonna put sealant in until we're done going down the last time. Otherwise, we just don't wanna get any flexible sealant on our carabiners or our ropes or that sort of stuff. I'll show you what to do, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna check it off. The other side has a date inspector, and so today is uh, 426, I think. And my initials, thank you for that. And now I put my inspection tag up. And prior to Prior to working on this job, coming back and doing work on this roof, my guys should come up here, put, put the date and their initials on the, on the tag.